Hello YouTube, my name is Amulya and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very first database in PHP My Admin, create a table and then insert values in it. So let's get started. This is my PHP My Admin. I'm running XAMPP on it and you can see it says I've got Apache, MariaDB, uh, PHP 7.4.11 and these are PHP extensions that, that I have installed and enabled. So let's get started. So to create a database in PHP My Admin, there are two options, basically three options. You can go to databases, type in your database name here, click create, or you can go to new option here. So click on this new thing and this will pull up this page, the same page. You can also go to SQL and type your queries here and then hit go. So I'm going to show you two ways that are very preferred ways to create database in phpMyAdmin. So the first one is you go to databases, type in your database name and hit create. If you're using UTF-8 language, so this is already pre-selected, you don't need to change it. If it's not there and you are creating database for UTF-8 language, like English, go ahead and select it from, from the drop down menu. Okay, so whether I click here or click here, I am on the same page. Okay, so simply click here or here and then type the name. So I'm going to say ease coding. Okay, that's my database name. Now I can simply say create database has been created. So as soon as you create database by clicking that create button, PHP my admin selects that database here. You can see the same database. You can also see here. Okay, so this is going to say this is a server which is localhost and the database is being selected. The database that you just created. Now this gives you option to create the table. No table found, no tables found in database so we will go ahead and create a table i'm going to say students so one thing that you need to follow whenever you create a table is basically you should always name your table as a plural okay so it's a good idea so it's good practice basically okay so let's go ahead and say students or whatever you have to and then we have to decide how many columns we need for this table so it could be like, let's say student ID, which is going to be unique and unique for every student. And then we want to have student role number. Then we want to have student first name, middle name, last name. Then we want to have stream. Then we want to have standard. Okay. So I think seven, seven or eight. We will manage that accordingly. Okay. So now just type in column number and hit go. Here we have. So first thing first, we want to have a very unique ID assigned whenever you create a database, sorry, a new row, whenever you insert a new row to this table. So I'm going to say STD ID. Obviously this is going to be an integer by default, it's going to be of 10. Length is going to be 10. I also want to make sure it's auto incremental. So whenever I don't need to type it manually, I don't need to figure out what was the last row that I inserted, what was the ID of so that last row. So if you just select this one, that will take care of everything. This ID also needs to be primary. So if you're not using latest version of phpMyAdmin, this will be not pre-selected. You will have to select it manually. So under index, select this one and then simply say AI, auto increment. All right. So then we want to have STD roll number. Okay. So roll, or you can say, simply say num. STD num and ID both are two things and by default it's going to be 10 of length then you want to have first name so another rule of 
creating good database database table structure you basically break down your data into smallest data possible so basically we can simply say name and we can throw everything in it but it's a good idea to break that name into first name middle name and last name okay so middle name and obviously this is going to be var character here we need to give some value length so this is going to be of 70 this is also going to be of 70 and then last name this is also going to be let's say var character of 100 this is also var character this is going to be of 100 so these are basically data types okay for each uh, col column that you are creating within a table by default it's going to be not null if you check this box this is going to be null accepted then we have let's say stream stream is going to be a local language and English so it could be okay leave it as it is so it's going to be 50 oh sorry 50 you cannot have more than 240 then we want to have standard this is also going to be uh, let's say var character we want to have var so we can give so this is going to be like 25 is enough all right so you can add okay this is how you can create the table structure now you can simply say save and this will check everything all the syntax and execute it so you can see everything is okay we can go ahead and now insert values so this is what we get this is a primary key you can see auto incremented null no 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 default none 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 so these are attributes that are taken by, by default when you create database with php my admin now we can go ahead and insert values from here so we don't need to select or give value for std id but here we can give let's say that's going to be one sam kumar singh and then stream is going to let's say english english standard is going to be 10th okay this is awesome so depending on your length you can see the size is like that so we should not have given like more than 50 for these okay let's move on now this is the next column now we can simply say french and let's say ninth, ninth standard now you can go ahead and simply click go to insert two rows okay and here you see inserted two rows now we can go to structure this is the structure we can go to browse and we have two rows you can see here now to create a new table you simply go ahead and click this new under the database that you have created and you'll be able to add new tables here table name and then rows columns all right so this is how you create a database create a table within a database and insert values in the database table so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below so select the table insert it all right that's it for this video again bye for now thank you